Good morning, Kelly Williams, and welcome to day four of the Kelly 66-day challenge. Hey, just a quick heads up that Kelly was updated overnight, and so I just wanted to show you very briefly, at least on an iPhone, how to update your Kelly app. So if you go to the App Store, kind of looks like a blue picnic table there, middle of the screen with the one on it. I'm gonna click on that. And when you come in, you'll see, sometimes you'll have pending updates, and Kelly may be on that list for you right now, if that was the case, right at the top right where it says update all, you would hit that button and you would see that your apps would start updating. I actually got excited this morning when I heard about it and I've already updated Kelly. So you'll see updated recently. And if you scroll down, then you'll see that Kelly has already been updated. If you click on open, it'll give you kind of a rundown of Oh, actually, it's going to open the app for us. So if you clicked on more, it would show you what has been updated. So uh, second thing we're going to do today is we're going to focus on QR scanning. So many of you have been posting your QR codes, and I appreciate that. Some of you have been asking where to do that. So if you click on the I in the very top right of your Kelly, the box with the I, you're going to scroll down to QR code scanning. So if you click there, you can... Click on share my QR code and it'll pull it up right there for you in your Kelly app. Now, in order to take a screenshot and I will post a link on how to do it on phones that aren't iPhones. And yet for the iPhone, you're going to put the center button and the button on the right hand side of your phone. You'll push both of those buttons at the same time and it'll take a screenshot. From there, you can just click on it, click on done and then save to photos, and that way you'll have it in your photo reel. From there, you can go into the Facebook post, which I will also link to that everyone's been posting their QR codes in, and go ahead and post your QR code in that uh, spot. From there, if you wanted to scan, you could scan QR codes that have been posted and start getting information for people by clicking on scan in the middle of the screen. It's gonna turn your phone into that QR reader and then you can go from your computer and start scanning. So you can see Kristen Vaughn and I may have already connected. So it says, whoops, looks like you've already connected. So let's see if Oksana and I have. Looks like we've already connected as well. What about Mike? Looks like Mike and I have already connected. You can see I've been doing some scanning on my own already. So let's go down until we can find somebody there, somebody that we hadn't scanned already. So you'll see as soon as we do that, it'll add that person to our connections. And then we can go back to scan by clicking in the center and then scan a new person. So you can see I've been doing a lot of scanning lately. So anytime you get a new person that's on the list, then you can go ahead and scan their information and they will be added into your scans and connections and then added into your database of agents as soon as Keller Williams command comes on. So that's the goal for today is post your QR code to the link in the uh, post that I'll have here shortly and then scan at least three, four or five people.